leading off the inning, Brian McCann, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Cole gets the sign. Here it comes on 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And that misses, so they fall behind McCann here, three and one. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Now batting, catcher, Doug. Doug Fister tries to bunt his way on here, but it's strike one. Misses the bunt attempt, and we'll see what's up now on 0-2. And, and he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's 1-2. and two. And this is going back to the pattern he's been using here lately. Set him up inside and then get him out with pitches away. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. So striding in, Gerard Dyson, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. McGriff is up with it, and the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. So stepping in, Starling Marte, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And to score is the runner from third, and they won't come close to getting him. He's in there at third. So one out here with runners at first and third. And set to stand in the first baseman here, David Ortiz. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. The tag, and he is out. Chris Bryant will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. Well, not a great start at the plate. We'll see if he can get something to drive right here. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. Oh. oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's 1-1. One and one. Skied into very shallow right. Cruz is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Starling Marte makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. And that's in there as well. 0-2 now. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Trying to strike him out for the second time. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Robinson Cano will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Baseball fans see Robinson Cano and they think of his time with the Yankees and the Mariners. But some forget how great he was during the World Baseball Classic in 2013. He hit 469 for the undefeated Dominican team on his way to the tournament MVP award. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And quickly two are gone now here in the visitor's half of the sixth. Mike Trout will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And now he's made most of the hitters inside conscious. And of course, that opens up the outside corner when he has to go there. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. 
Mookie Betts gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown team. Right fielder, Mookie. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. This is not the first time today that he's chased out of the zone. That's why he's looking at a hat trick. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hit hard toward the right side. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. The throw into second. Digging in now, D. Gordon. He got nice called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him to come through right here. Runs up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. There to take it is Cruz, and that's the first out. Throw into second. Throw into second. Not in time. He took a chance tagging up, but made it pay off. The batter number 14. Starlin Castro will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Marte will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. He pulls this one into right. Cruz will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nelson Cruz will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Good thing we don't get paid by the hour, man. This game has flown by. Number 26 will come in and now pitch pitching. now. Number 26. Too oh, high that flat. time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Ah, uh, that thing's knee high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Betts over to his right, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Manny Machado stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. After battling injuries in previous years, Manny Machado showed everybody what he could do in 2015. He got named to the All-Star team, he participated in the Home Run Derby, and he won another gold glove. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. But like you said, 2015 was definitely a year to remember for Manny. He became only the seventh Oriole to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in the same year. Yeah, and for him, it's all about health. If he can stay on the field, he's going to put together a stellar career. He's got all the tools. There's no doubt about that. First baseman, Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One and one. Called strike in a dangerous location there, 1-2. and two. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Corey Seager. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Drilled to the right side. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Buster Posey stands in trying to make it three straight two out hits. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. And you know how good hitting can prove contagious in an inning. Let's see if he can keep it rolling. Trying to hold the lead. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. 
Betts has a beat on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Number 26 will come on, and as he's newly entered into the ballgame, he'll get his first plate appearance now here in inning number seven. Jose Bautista is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. He's done a really good job of kind of getting ahead of hitters here by throwing first pitch strikes to 70% of the batters he's faced. And that's why he's doing so well. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Belted high in the air out to left. Marte racing back, still going back. Gone! Over the monster for a home run. The center fielder, number one. Gerard a solo home run Jackson. that time off the bat of Jose Batista. As they extend the lead a bit, it's now oh, three to set. one. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Starling six. Marte comes to the plate here, and we'll see how they play it with that leadoff man on base. Yeah, and in this situation, you've got to move that runner to second any way you can. So we're going to see how they decide to play it right here. First delivery to him on the way. David Ortiz is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. One and two. In the dirt here, and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. And that misses two and two. Yeah, and he's got to be careful not to give up yet another home run here in this inning. So you can see they're approaching with caution here. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And a good battle okay. brewing as Ortiz lays off. It's full three and two. He knows a drill out there. You've got to make him swing the bat. To not be giving up walks at this stage of the game. Because those could be fatal. Chris Bryant stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Runners are at second and third with one down. Now oh, here's a hard hit ball. That'll get down into left center field. That's a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. The run scores from second. Make it five to one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mookie Betts. He singled his last time up.